Hi, I'm Kilo. Um, once again, I'm going to a repetitive creative crowd, a creative crowd, crowd that made about the proper integration of a special ed student in a general ed school. Once again, uh, three uh, secondary cream she may work. The whole school population benefit from having a special ed student. Um, second, stu uh, study have proven it's good things to have a special ed student in the general schools. Uh, at last, an integration of school, uh, special ed student into the general education population as a positive effect, uh, effect on society. My response to the secondary claim uh, number one is with having a special ed student in a normal school will affect the education of non-disabled students of the school. This is because of the teacher's attention may go towards the special ed student. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, student more than the non-disabled uh, disabled student. Uh, special ed student may need more help compared to the non-disabled student Therefore, time of uh, and attention from a teacher might be taken away from non-disabled disabled student. According to the Kalisa uh, Kalomis, who is the express teacher of the professional education certificate in the uh, preschool and the pre uh, primary education, she said that in a in some class, teachers tend to give more time to uh, and attention to the children with a special need, uh, leaving students struggle with the little or no help. Also, particular disability will strongly affect on the entire class. So it is obvious, I mean, it is obvious that it is a negative effect to the, uh, the non-disabled student. And in her second uh, secondary claim, she said having a special ed student in a regular classroom is a good thing. But after listening to her evidence of the claim, it is clear her evidence is not only showing how <coughs> the special ed student benefit not, uh, benefited not to the class. Uh, furthermore, when we compare to the disab disabled student that are part of the class of the whole time, Students that mainstream for only some class or certain time feel left out or not part of the class. They may become target for the bullying. According to the polls uh, starting, a uh, PhD of the professor UC Buckley said, uh, teacher report the highest rate of bullying involvement. Uh, victimization 30% of perpetration per 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 46%. And the adolescent with the ASD compares with uh, self-report. Uh, victimization 70%, the preparation 90%, and the peer report, uh, peer report uh, victimization 70%, and the particular. So, so having a special uh, ASD student in a regular uh, classroom has mm -hmm. caused the negative consequences of the uh, for both the special uh, ed student and also the non-disabled uh, student. In her side of the last claim, she said the special ed student has a positive effect on the special uh, society, but it is an entire truth. Uh, for the student with disability, school needs to be paid extra for the education. The U.S. Uh, 2005 uh, special education ex expedi uh, expeditory program indicate that the average cost of normal student is about 6,500, but the cost of the student with disability can range from 10,500 to 20,000. The average cost of a student with disability is one times uh, is 1.6 times greater than the average student. This means that covers uh, the cost of the special ed student. Uh, school will need to be cut cost from other things. So in conclusion, in conclusion. Um, it is a good thing to have a, a special a, a kid in the class, same classroom. However, uh, integration of special ed student in general, general ed school is not a beneficial to the school.
<laughs> back to back. I'm sorry that that happened, but that's the way things go sometimes. We had uh, confusion on the number of people that we had in class, so that's why we had uh, double dipping on that particular speech. Um, the structural stuff is pretty good at the beginning. Uh, I think you need to pace yourself a little bit so it's clearer and we get a chance to kind of adjust to the cadence of your speech. But once we got going, I, I could follow everything that you were saying. That's good. Uh, the signpost on point one was fine. Um, I, you know, it's it's the issue that I had just talked about with John, you know, that there is, in fact, a potential negative consequence to the non-disabled uh, in the classrooms. And uh, you had a hypothetical example. And then I think you did have a quote on that particular point that illustrated it. So that was okay. I, I think that uh, it makes that point. I, I, you could do maybe a little bit more contrast to what the advocate said on that point so we could see that, you know, the benefits would be hard to measure and there are clearly disadvantages to go along with it. On the second point, um, Your first argument is basically the same thing that John made on his argument. You know, that was everything. Says, that shows how it benefits the student, not to the school. And I thought, you know, like I said, I said it with John's speech. That's a good argument to be making. That's a good press. Um, I don't know that it's going to get you far. If we were in a debate, like I said, I think there might be some dispute about the definition. Uh, the argument that there are consequences to this mainstreaming, though, I thought that was an interesting counterclaim that you had on the bullying, and then you had some um, piece of testimony on it. The statistic got a little bit confusing because I'm not exactly sure what the statistic said, but the authority that uses those statistics suggested that there are consequences. The first thing that popped into my head, like I said, since I don't have any first-hand experiences, uh, my wife has had these kinds of experiences. She had an autistic kid in her class last year who, in trying to socialize with everybody, the other kids basically took money to be his friend kind of thing. And at the end of the year, his dad was wondering what had happened to the $1,000. So over the course of the year, the kid had been taken for $1,000 by the other kids in the class because he didn't conceptualize the way the money was and how it was being used and those kinds of things. So, I, I mean, your statistic probably makes more sense. I, I, I just thought of that example as I was sitting here. There's always one of those kinds of things that happen. So the bullying thing, I think, is a good illustration. And then the third point, I think that does talk about the impact on the schools, what the cost is to the schools to be able to do this. If there's a benefit to the schools. I don't know if there's a benefit from this community sort of thing, but they're having to pay one and a half, or excuse me, 1.6 1. times as much in order to mainstream these students. That's a significant negative consequence to the schools. That means that there's less money available for other things, and I think that that applies directly to the advocate's p position, and that's the way you ought to express that point. All right, thank you very much. Before you all rush out the